to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are talking. I'm sharing some tips. I'm sharing my knowledge with y'all. And that's why we're here. I'm not in my usual environment. I am currently studying French in Quebec. So I am filming this on the go. However, I still wanted to share this video with you guys. So if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, click the post notification icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So for today's video, I'm sharing all my wisdom and knowledge with you guys that I've learned about living abroad, what it's like living in Hawaii, all the costs of living in Hawaii. You guys have been asking me this through my DMs, through my um, YouTube community tab, and I'm here to answer you guys' questions. First, um, general questions that I've been asking is about admissions. <laughs> and how to get into university. I have a whole video on that, but just to quickly recap, the most asked question is how did I get accepted into a university in Hawaii, specifically my university? I go to Brigham Young University in Hawaii, and a lot of you guys are interested in going to that university or want to go to university in Hawaii and still don't know how to do the whole application process but my number one tip for that is you have to sell yourself and you really need to make sure you sell yourself you have to imagine this admissions person is going to get a blank paper they're just gonna have a name they don't know you they don't know the things that you've done they don't know your accomplishments you have to put on that paper that you're literally the best person ever you have to give them all your achievements you have to tell them what makes you great and why they chose you out of the 200 applications or so or the 1,000 applications that come in per year if you're thinking oh my goodness I didn't do that many things in high school but I'm passionate about this write things that you're passionate about writing because if you're passionate about something and you're writing about it passionately it gets the other person excited because you're excited to tell them about something that makes you excited and that makes you happy okay so now we're gonna talk about cost of living <music> So you guys have a lot of questions about how can I afford to live in Hawaii or how did I afford to live there? How do you afford to live there? Like, sis, what is the code? Crack the code. So this is how I personally did it and how I'm personally doing it. It might change for everyone, but this is how I do. So school for me has a couple of costs. School includes tuition, it includes textbooks, it includes food, the food that I'll be eating while I'm there, it includes the place that I'm staying. So to pay those important aspects of education and like, what it takes to live abroad, I have three sources of income. The first one is what we call my educational savings. So in Canada, there's a company that you can sign up with like when your child is born and they take money out of your parents' credit card, I think either monthly or like quarterly or like yearly to put into a specific account that will be given to your child once they graduate high school. So once I graduated high school, I had X amount of money for college. So what this company does is every semester they give me X amount of money to pay off college. So that goes like, that takes a part of the money away. My second income for college is my parents. If my tuition has not been paid completely from my educational savings, I guess, allowance that they gave me per semester, then my parents will go ahead and cover that. However, before that, before my parents come in and save the day, thanks mom and dad, we have scholarships and tuition scholarships. My school specifically gives you tuition scholarships to pay off university depending on your GPA. So it starts from 3.6 all the way to 4.0 and depending on where you fall in that range, you either get 25% back on your money, 50%, uh, 75% or 100% back of your money. So that money comes in after my grades have been given for that semester and depending on my GPA, they subtract that from the total cost from my college that semester. So those are like the three ways that I pay for college. So the other part, like besides college, you know, like girl has to have a social life. You gotta do fun things on the weekend. You gotta explore because this island is literally gorgeous and beautiful. And this is where I come in and where my job comes in. week, And that is the money that I use for anything want. Not need because everything need is covered my by my educational savings, my parents and the scholarships and such. But anything want, because your girl has a lot of wants, that's where I come in. This includes my car, paying for car insurance, paying for gas, paying to go out during the weekend, to eat and avoid cafeteria food, um, all that, me. However, the 19 hours can get overwhelming just for me specifically because I not only am a full-time student that takes all the credits that I need for class, I am a science major, but I work the 19 hours and I also have the side hustle of making YouTube videos. So that's like me putting like more work on myself but this is just like so you guys can have an idea of how I balance school work and like YouTube at the same time. So that about covers all cost questions about affording to live there and how I manage to live there and how I pay my way through university. If you guys have any other questions don't forget to leave them down below. Okay so my next question about living in Hawaii is how is the student life? How do I entertain myself? How is it living there? <laughs> 
let me tell you, it is drop dead gorgeous. You are literally waking up to paradise every day. It is never cold. Sometimes it gets cold. Like the longer you live there, you realize that 20 degrees sometimes is a little chilly. Um, but you thought that 20 degrees like in the mainland or wherever you live was like hot. But it gets really hot. So like when it gets like cooler, people are like wearing sweaters. Student life. So work life balance work-life student balance can be difficult if you procrastinate and if you don't get your stuff done there's a lot of things to do if you really like go out and seek for things but you can bore yourself if you're really like in your room and don't do anything so i really recommend like doing like those like cheesy get to know you activities in the beginning of the semester because that's literally when you're gonna find your friends because after that people are like doing their thing in their lane in their classes so you might meet people along the way and a great place to meet people is a cafeteria let me tell you that's where I met a lot of people so my friend and I always made an admission that during the first week of school we would always sit with someone different in the cafeteria I know it's scary if you're an introvert it might be scary but by doing so we met so many people um, that way we had more people to talk to when we went around campus or when we saw those people that we talked in the cafeteria like in our classes and like we were able to hang out with different types of groups. So student life is pretty good. You have intramural activities, you can do clubs. I joined like the hip hop club because I love to dance so I did that. Um, we have a gym, there's a pool, there's the beach which is literally free and right there and my last semester I only went to the beach once. I know it's literally like a two second walk but just because I was like doing YouTube and I was doing school and I was like doing other things um then i just like didn't get to go to the beach a lot but there's so many things to do if you find things to do but if you're like a homebody and you like being in your room in your dorm which i am some of the time then like that's cool as well like netflix is a thing and you can like talk to your friends in your room and stuff like that um student life in hawaii is pretty cool because it's not only school but like you're literally surrounded by the most beautiful nature ever and if you do all your homework during the week then you'll able to like explore the island on the weekend and that's usually what my friends and i do we try to get all our homework done by Friday night and then since I have a car then we go around and find a few places there'll always be a new place to discover there'll always be a new hideout okay. place but I want to close off with a couple life tips <laughs> or like overall tips about studying abroad. First things first, get your paperwork sorted out with. If you're especially an international student, you need to know that there's certain documents that you need in order to like enter legally into the country that it might include visas or like the I-20 forms. Like there's a couple of forms that you need to enter the country. And also be aware of the rules that you need to follow as an international student. You, you are now an adult, you're living on your own, you're doing your own thing and you really need to be keeping up and being aware of all the things that you need to do do so you can remain wherever you're studying abroad legally and you're like following all the rules and regulations and all that jazz okay the second thing about studying abroad is get immersed in the culture in the people i am so lucky to be going to a university that is so culturally diverse so i get to see literally everyone and everything in all types of culture all walks of land and there's so many great stories about being able to meet people from all over the world and just like getting to try the different foods i am a foodie i love food and being able to try food from different places literally my favorite thing ever okay so my last like overall tip about studying abroad the experience is up to you yes school can get hard school can get difficult and let me tell you yes Hawaii is great and all but you know sometimes school sucks and there are so many projects that you have to do and there's so many things you have to hand in and it really doesn't feel like you're living in Hawaii sometimes because school is so hard but yeah as you get over those hard moments life sometimes hit you relationships sometimes hit you and you just have to, have to push through it and remember like yes life is hard but like you have to be grateful to you're living your best life you're living abroad so uh, the experience is up to you so that is all that I have for you guys today if you have any other questions or are there any questions that I didn't answer don't forget to leave them down below I'll f feel free to answer those for you guys and also if you want to DM me we can just like ch talk and chat about anything that you might be worrying about or anything that you were wondering about about studying abroad or studying in Hawaii specifically I hope this video helped you guys if it did make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below on any video you guys want to see next don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!